Hello everyone, welcome to Papa Sky channel. Uh, in this today's video, we are going to discuss about the Confluence. Uh, this is the second video on the Confluence. And the topic of the video is how we can configure the different project template in the Confluence. Uh, take example, if it's a retrospection or it's a project plan or it's a defect matrix or the capacity matrix. So we'll touch base few of the matrix which is already present in the Confluence so that's that's the topic of the today's video and if you are new to this channel uh, just do subscribe of this channel and refer our previous video on the confluence and we are also having the complete series on the jira as well as on the configuration on the azure devops uh, where you'll find all the tips and tricks on those uh, tools configurations and you can become expert on this so let's begin so for example uh, creating the template in the confluence what what we need to do we need to go in the confluence so if the confluence is already configured with your jira you can find underneath over here or your organization would be providing you the confluence link so once you're on the confluence just open the confluence so what you will be seeing already you will be having some project which is already created uh, which we call as a space for your project for example you can see for me i have a three spaces created one is with my name one is by software development team one is papa sky team alpha so what you can do either you can create the pages underneath this or you can create a new space for creating a new space you need to click on the space option and you need to select as a do you want to create a blank space do you want to create a new team or it's for a documentation purpose or does it for a knowledge purpose or does it for a software project you will be finding n number of options over here for example i just i want to create this confluence page for a, a documentation purpose where all my document will be stored in one place just click on the document give the name of your space so for example i am giving the name of my space as Papa sky document repository you can give the meaningful name for your uh, project or the teams which you belong to that and click on the create space so once you have created the space you can see you are having the some by default uh, template option showing over here so what i want to do that i want to create a templates uh, from scratch so for creating that what you need to do that you can see the multiple options over here like teams apps template invite people and create for example uh, i want to create a template for the retrospection so what i'll do i'll just click on the create option and i'll search the page option okay once you create a page you need to give the meaningful name of the page for example this is my uh, i want to create a page for my retrospection so there is a way what you can do you can create give the name like retrospection for sprint one which is running or whatever the sprint you are having right that's the one way to do that but what i want to what i'm going to show you over here i don't want to do creation from uh, scratch in a manual way like giving the name of a report then adding the team members and adding the retrospection template so is there any shortcut way or automatic customized template which is there in the content which i can use it so the answer is yes so for that what you need to do in the right hand side you can see the option template over here and you can see you here you are having n number of templates so what you can do either you can search the template uh, by scrolling down or you can directly search on the search panel so for example i want to see the retrospection template so once you click on the retrospection it's showing i have a retrospection basic template which is this uh, start doing stop doing keep doing i have a four else retrospection technique for example let's start with the basic one so i click on that okay once you click on the basic retrospection template you can see now already the template with the proper format like date team participants uh, what is the format of a retrospection it has been came along with the action item so this is how you can 
configure the templates in the conference directly instead of creating from the scratch and then what you can do you can edit this template you will be always having the option of editing for example i am putting the dates i am creating the retrospection for example on today's date which is 21 december i can add a team member so here you can uh, add a team member so you will be having an option you can find a team member with the at the rate so for example my i have a puppet sky team where i have a four team members so you can select this team member so automatically all the team member can come over here and you can add for example you want to add more columns and row you will be having those option over there so this is how you can add the team members for example apart from team member if you want to add more participants like you are uh, you want to invite your product owner business analyst or anyone you can onboard those people over there so once you onboard the team member there in the retrospection template you can see i have option like uh, it's, it's a very basic template start doing stop doing keep doing right but i want to customize this template like any first column should be what are the items what are the items or what went wrong in last sprint this is how you can customize thing then in middle one i want to add what went well in last sprint it can be your deliverables it can be your process it can be your uh, team dynamics collaboration it, you can add any options you can uh, have the option keep doing or you can make it like continue doing so here you can add those item which you want to continue to do that and you can see the drop down option over there because what i want i want to add more columns which this template is not provided so what you can do you can add more column for example i want to insert one more column in the right hand side so click on that so you can see one more column has been came over there where i want to add like action items so i am adding the action items i want to introduce one more column which will talk about uh, knowledge and learning if any team member wants to learn any new things or skills which is required for a project so we can add so this is how you also you can customize the column and if i want to add more row you can simply click on the tab that's a one way and also you have a cell options where you can add a, insert a row insert a column table options then in the action item you can see already you are having the few action items where you can for example i want to assign one action item for one of my developer so you can click on that and you can assign those action item to your developers or tester for example i want to assign one item to ali like test unit testing unit test coverage should be 80% so this is how you can assign the item also you can put the eta on that when they can provide the ETA when they complete the unit test by 80%. For example, they based on retrospection, they are saying they can finish by next week. So you can put the next week date, for example, 29th. I am putting here. And then you can. So then what you can do, you can give the meaningful name of your retrospection template. I am giving like team purpose sky retrospection sprint pipe and click on publish so once you are clicking on publish it will ask you where you want to publish this document so if you hover over there it will show you the location for example showing this uh, is going under purpose sky document repository 
which just now we created and click on publish. Okay. See, so once you publish it, uh, your nice retrospection can come here. Then what you can do, you can share this retrospection template uh, to your team members. So everyone will be having the access on that and they can open parallelly while you are running the retrospection. For that, you need to click on the share. So what you can do that, you can add the team members over there directly. For example, I want to add a, one of my team member, Ali or there is an option you can directly select the team so you can see over here i have a team so where i can onboard a team member directly over here that's the one way to share the template another way to share the template is that you are seeing the copy link option next to share so you just click on that so the link will be copied and you can share this link to your team members by the communication channel either over the mail or the team's channel and then you can run the data inspection. So that's the one way to create a template on the conference. Now take an example, I want to create one more another template under this uh, uh, my project, which is there the Papa Sky document. So what you can do that you can click on the plus option here and it will ask you to create the page option. That's the one way to do that. And you can directly create from this create option. So what I'm doing now, I'm creating one more page and this time we'll create a different template. For example, I want to create a template for a sprint planning meeting. Right. So there is a one way you can do from manual from the scratch or I can search the sprint planning matrix and let's see the sprint planning template is there or not there. Yeah, it's there, right? So you can click on that. Once you click on this, Yes, so you can see nice table of content of a sprint planning has been came over there where it's talking about the sprint planning checklist, team members, agenda, potential risk, right? And in the checklist, what you can do, what are the items which you need to prepare for a sprint planning, like organize the backlog and close, close the like last sprint, type your action items, example, present velocity and confirm team capacity. And the follow-ups item then you can see the team members right what are the who is your team member for example one of my team member is ali and i can add their role for example they are front-end developer then i have one more team member like newton and he's the tester for my project automation tester okay this is how you can add the team members again as i mentioned also you can customize the uh, this row for example you want to introduce one more column or row you can do that i want to add one more column where it's talk about their availability or maybe i want to put their responsibility okay so you can put over there then sprint planning meeting items, we can add the items over there. What are the items you want to cover over there? Then previous sprint themes, you can see like uh, what are the, how many bugs were there? How many story points, summary details, then velocity chart, you can include directly here. So you can, you can see the plus option here from the plus, you can include the gadgets. And in gadgets, you can see, I do I have a velocity? Let's search velocity. Okay, it's not appearing here, but uh, if you are having the velocity chart already there, you can onboard those velocity chart or the burn down chart. For example, I want to onboard the sprint burn down chart. So you can onboard the sprint burn down chart over here for a last sprint so you can select your project for example my project is Papa sky board and show the board name and it will be auto or i want to see the for the sprint one you can see a fresh interval you can keep it 15 minutes and save it yes so see you can your burn down chart has been onboard ordered here so similarly you can onboard the different matrix like velocity burn down and whatever the project matrix which you see it's meaningful to put on the sprint planning 
then next section is a capacity planning where you can see <clears throat> you can add the total current days of the sprint if your sprint is two days sorry if it's if it is for two weeks you can add the 10 days team capacity in terms of a story points member and add customize the column risk and mitigation then spin planning resources so this is a one of the metrics which is a uh, already available in the confluence and it can differ from organization to organization based on the plan they have purchased it and then you can configure the matrix so yes so this is about how we can onboard the different uh, templates like uh, retrospection templates sprint planning that templates and uh, project scope templates and there are the n number of templates you can explore around it and once you configure those things click on publish it's asking for a title because you need to give the title so i am putting the team papa sky sprint planning for s5 and click on publish Again, choose a repository, click on publish. Yes, so this is how your report has been done. What you can do, you can share this report with your team members so they can use, open this template, put the details under it, and you can go ahead with the sprint planning. So that's all, guys, for the today's video where we have covered about the different templates in the confluence how we can create the templates from scratch or how we can onboard the template which is already available and we can customize those template so just let us know how how, how this video is adding the value and if you would like to know any new topics on the confluence on the jira or on the ad or any topics on the scrum and agile you can provide those details on the comment also you can reach me on the linkedin uh, where we are discussing about lot of about the agiles and latest tools and technology. Uh, I have my LinkedIn profile attached in this video. And if you already not subscribed to this video, please do subscribe of this video. Also do explore our digital products, which we are having available on my LinkedIn bio about uh, Scrum interview preparation, mock interviews, uh, the Confluence full package, which is available over there, Jira project setup from the scratch for the Scrum master also the Azure DevOps setups. So all those digital products uh, is available in my LinkedIn bio. So you can explore around it and keep learning guys. Thanks, thanks for watching this video.